Hi, I'm Christine McKay and welcome to my craft studio. Today we have special guest with us, Heidi Ferguson at Honey Bear Lane. Is it dot com? Yeah. Awesome. So we're going to talk a little bit about your blog and some of the things that you like to do. So give me an idea. If, if somebody asked you what kind of blogger are you, what would kind of, what would be your question or your the answer? Um, the first thing I always say is I'm a craft DIY blogger. Okay. But I do a lot of sewing and quilting. I do kids crafts. I even do some style stuff and just like general mom stuff. <laughs> so how long have you been blogging? Uh, three years. Three years. So you kind of started like right in that heyday when, when it was, I mean, ever, really big and strong. And so I'm imagining that you have quite a few followers and, and yeah. how, what do you, how do you interact with them and how does that kind of help um, make that process as, as a blogger more fun and exciting? Oh, that's one of the best parts of blogging. I just love the feedback I get from people and I love the emails. People write me and say, thank you for this tutorial. It was so helpful and look what I made. And they show me pictures of the things they send in. I, I love it and I love interacting with them and they help me too, you know? Sometimes I ask questions, I'm like, oh, my kids are doing this, what do I do? And they're like, oh, well, this worked for my kids and you know, so. It's fun because it's kind of like this whole network of, of moms that are kind of in this same place and, and websites like yours um, that work with like the DIY and stuff, it really just, I think it makes being a mom more fun. Right? Oh, totally, totally. Okay, so one of the things we want to talk about is this darling project right here, which I am just goo goo gaga over. It makes me sad. I was telling her, it makes me wish I had little boys again because <laughs> this is so cute. Oh, thanks. So um, tell me what inspired you with this project and kind of walk through reconstructing it. Okay, well, I, I just finished making a project for my craft room that um, used a huge pegboard. Uh-huh. And so, I mean, they're like eight by four feet when you buy them. And so I had all this leftover and um, I just put it in my kids' room knowing that I would use it somehow. And then we also had this table, like this blue part, and I had spray painted it blue and used it for something else, but um, they didn't use it anymore, so it was just sitting in the closet and I was like, oh, I could probably make a tool bench. And so I looked up on Pinterest, found some cute little ideas for inspiration. I wanted to make it look, you know, not super kiddy. Well, that, I mean, it looks like a miniature little tool yeah, bench. Yeah, I love so that. Cute. You know, like the Pottery Barn yes. miniature fridge or, or kitchen, and then they have a toolbox. And those, too. the table that you used as your base, uh, you know, I have to laugh because you can find those a dime a dozen at any thrift store. I think I had one when I was first married yeah. <laughs> in my living room. Um, tell me how you secured the, the wood on top of that. We just screwed it in. Actually, we glued it, and then I should have waited, but I'm super impatient, and yes. I never wait, <laughs> and so um, it kind of shifted. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of off, but <laughs> that's but the way my projects are sometimes. And then how about this yeah, frame? How about the frame on the back? Did you just did you just piece that together yourself? Yeah. Um, I had the pegboard, and I painted it silver because uh -huh. it was white before, and it's this Martha Stewart paint. It's just like this big, but it's awesome, and it looks really metallic. And um, so I painted it silver, and then I just bought these little boards, and they're they're like a dollar thirty, like a dollar and thirty cents at um, Lowe's, and I bought them and just screwed them together. In fact, if I would to do it again, I would do a little bit thicker, because you can see like it, it's kind of splitting. But um, I like the frame, so I just screwed together the frame. You can use brackets too if you want, but. Um, it's super and I think, easy. And I think what I really love too is how you how you personalize the sign on the top and you just stenciling it and and I, I just love. So tell me, does your little boy love this or what? Yeah. Does yeah. he just play with it all day he long? He loves to help me with my project. So this is almost like too kiddish for him. He he's five and he's like <laughs> he's like where's the power drill? Yeah, yeah. He screwed in you know with a real screwdriver. He screwed in these screws. He loves to help me, but it's fun for him to have this and feel like. A little man, you that know? That is so fun. So give me an idea of what are some other projects that you have on your blog that are some of your more favorite ones that you, when you're done, you actually like, wow, I'm, I'm really, I really <laughs> like that. Um, I've been doing a lot of those lately. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I uh, um, just, that other pegboard project was one of my favorites. Yeah. It's for my craft room and it's huge. It's like four feet by six feet yeah. and I framed it with crown molding 
and it's just super organized keeps everything just right out there you know how in your craft room it's like all put away and you never think about it you can never find it yes and you just aren't as creative as you could be yep so now I have it all out there and I have you know my paint by color and my glitter and, did you just and my use, thread. Did you just use like the the hooks that you have on there? Yeah, I used a lot of these. I used some other stuff like I have a thread rack on there. I have a little frame that I made for holding vinyl. So cute. It's it's and amazing. I'm, I'm assuming <laughs> you have uh, pictures of this on your blog, right? Yeah, yeah. So you can go to Honeybear Lane. That one's on my sidebar. Si sidebar. Sidebar on HoneybearLane.com. You can check out all of that. Okay, so are you ready for a game that we like to play here, Heidi? Are you ready? <laughs> sure. Okay, so we like to play a game. It's called Rapid Fire, where I ask you questions, and you just uh, answer with, like, just the first thing that comes to your mind. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. So uh, let's start with one craft project or craft something that intimidate you? Um, you know, I am, I'm going to say that I'm not really intimidated by much anymore. Good for you. And that's something I, that I really try to do is try new things. And so this year, my thing that I'm trying more of is power tools. Very good. That's why I made this, you yes. know, and I bought a, a couple of saws, and so I can saw my wood, you know, by myself. And So don't be intimidated. Just try it. Okay, so then that will give me to my leading question is, give us one craft fail. <laughs> one I just barely had. <laughs> totally um, failed. But I was repainting a dresser in my boys' room, and the end result is really cute. But the first try, ooh, it was ugly. Um... I had a little map that I was going to Mod Podge yeah. on the drawers, and Mod Podge is not my strong <laughs> point. <laughs> it was just wrinkling and ripping and like terrible, so I just had to rip it off. So even a craft expert can have your fails, <laughs> right? <laughs> totally, and that's how you learn. Exactly, that that's is how, how you, you get learn. better. Yeah. Okay, so last but not least, the last question is: When you totally have a creative block, where do you turn for your inspiration? Um, I have a list a mile long so I haven't had a block in a while because I'm always just trying to do things on, on my list but um, Pinterest is always a great yep, place to yep. go and just my friends blogs you know what they've done is amazing and I'm like oh I want to make that you know so Awesome. Well, go ahead and check out the HoneyBearLane.com website. I can't wait. I'm going to check out the storage because I definitely need that big time. And I'm assuming you have all the, the tutorial of kind of right. how to do this yeah. as well. And thank you so much for stopping by today. Yeah. And join us next time for My Craft Studio.